All right. Um, in your final project, some of you have actually started it already. And I've had a question about beaming of the notes. Uh, if you'll notice in the final project, we're in 2-4 time signature. Notes are beamed in groups of fours. So when you enter in 2-4 and finale, I'm in, by the way, I'm in finale, not finale print music. I'm in the full version. Um, when you, the default for 2-4 and finale is to group the eighth notes into groups of two. So it's very easy to change. Not intuitive, but easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the selection tool, click on it, and you're just going to select um, the two measures you want. Well, in this case, uh, my recommendation is when you do this is to input your entire document, then change the beaming last. So you can actually select your entire document. So I've just selected these two measures of eighth notes that I've put in. You're going to go up to the utilities pull down menu. You're going to go to rebeam. You're going to go to rebeam to time signature. Now, you have your time signature 2 4. This is where it's not intuitive. I'm actually going to slide this down to 1. And then I'm so I'm going to slide the number of beats to the left to 1, beat duration. I'm going to slide up to the half note. And so now I have one, whoops, now I have one, two. Okay. And notice that it does not change your time signature up here. And notice that it also rebeamed all the um, eighth notes that, or, that you had selected. So that's basically how you do it. Again, not real intuitive, but you know, just one more step that you have to do uh, to get it to look clean. So I'm in finale. If it's, I'm pretty sure it's the same concept in print music. If it's not, I'm sure you'll let me know and I'll make another video.